this is the Escute M100. Now there's hundreds of bikes on the market and there's loads and loads of electric bikes. What makes you choose this one over all the rest? I've been riding this now for nearly two weeks and it's an absolute dream. It is brilliant. It's just, I've just, we just carved our way through this cornfield, wheat field, whatever it is. We just carved our way through it. I'm not out alone. I'm out with MSM. He's doing a bit of filming and uh, we've got the two bikes so we can actually do some filming on them. But yeah, let me tell you a bit about this bike because this bike is less than 600 pounds at the moment. So I urge you to go and treat yourself and buy one right now because I think it's absolutely fantastic. So this is the M100 from Escute. It's got a 36 volt battery. Uh, the battery locks on on the side. There's a key that actually goes in and you actually lock the battery on and when you unlock the battery, you can pull it off. So it, it locks on, it stays on. There's also a switch on the side, which is a safety switch. You can cut all the power. So when you have these batteries left at home, you can know the battery's completely dead when it's been switched off. And then you've got, obviously comes with a charger and you've got a little lights on the top that tells you how much power's in it. Um, we've got seven Shimano gears, which is absolutely fantastic. It definitely gives you enough power to keep the gears going up and down. It's been coming along the road up the lane there. And while you're cycling along the lane, it will give you power assistance up to about 15 mile an hour which is absolutely fantastic so the seven shimano gears get it up into the top gear it gives you that momentum that power that performance to be able to keep you moving along the lanes and the country roads and then of course when you drop it down to the lower gears for doing stuff like this you can drop down to the lower gears using one two and three maybe for cycling through off road and forestry it's actually got loads of power to get you going it's really quite quite good we're going to go and climb up a hill and see how good it pulls up the hill. I already know it's going to do a good job, but I'm going to show you anyway. And then we're going to go ride back along the canal, as long as we don't get caught in what looks like is going to be a mega thunderstorm in a moment. Mechanical brakes. There's no hydraulic brakes on this one. They are mechanical brakes, but they seem to work quite well. They can lock up the back well quite easily, um, shredding the tyres, of course. But uh, the tyres are all right. They're 27 and a half inch wheels. They're, they're not a bad tyre. They've got a good bit of grip on them. They seem to work quite nicely. I've got about 28 pound in them at the moment, so uh, or PSI, and that seems to be working quite fine. So yeah, let's crack on. Let's go and do a little bit more, and then I'll tell you a little bit more about it somewhere out in the country, wherever we end up. The canal sounds like a good place. So this is a cracking little thing to ride on these little lanes as well. You can go up and down the grass, you can bounce around on the suspension and stuff like that. It actually does ride really well and it's quite a comfortable little bike as well as that. And uh, let's try and avoid getting it too muddy as well, shall we? So let's go around the water rather than through it. So yeah, a little bit of power assist and uh, a low gear and away you go. She really is quite good. Powering is easy. You literally just press the button when you want to go up the power, level four, level five, and she'll just rock it away on level five. And then you go back down to maybe level two when you're riding along a sort of gravel track like this. And then your brakes really do work. And you've even got a decent little bell when you're going around these bends to make sure that you don't run into anybody as well. So I need a low gear and I need big power. I'm going to just knock this all the way up to level five and see how this thing does. And at the moment, she's storming up the hill. Wow. So this thing now is starting to get a bit steeper as we're heading up this hill. And this honestly is just rolling up the hill. I'm pedaling, I'm assisting a little bit. I'm on the Shimano gear too, but it is, it's just literally just pulling me up the hill it's so cool so powerful for such a well such a low range price bike 600 pound and on its retail it's only 900 i think or it could even be 800 it'd be on the screen easy Whew. so we've made it up to peckford castle and it is gorgeous look at this it's actually got suns come out now so those big storm clouds have moved which is great anyway the power coming up that hill an absolute stonker she was really pulling up the hill it's got a 10.4 amp milliamp hour battery i don't know how the maths works on that but yeah i'm sure that makes uh, sense to somebody but yeah really really good the power output you've got the five levels of power you've got a beautiful color display screen it's got your tripometer your maximum speed your average and all that sort of stuff it reads in mile an hour which is really good and you've got your battery levels on there We're on level four out of five at the moment um, so yeah really really nice display just read really really easy and you can sort of tilt it in the position you want your up and down buttons are very, very simple to use, whereas on the Notino, they're quite a small buttons, whereas on this are very, very big buttons and really, really easy to, to switch up and down. It does power you up nicely. As for comfort, it's really, really comfortable. It's got a beautiful, really nice padded seat, and it's quite a broad seat as well. So it's not a sports seat. It's definitely a comfort seat. Um, I quite like it, and you don't need any cycling pants and padded pants to actually ride it. It's really, really comfortable. 
The motor, uh, it's actually a rear hub motor. It's a 250 watt Bifang um, power output. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty good. And you've also got disc brakes on it as well, front and rear disc brakes. I did mention the brakes before. Um, they do need bedding in, <coughs> but they're working. And I've just swallowed some spit. <laughs> Right, we're going to take this thing down the hill now. Let's see if I can actually stop this at the bottom of the hill because we came down there yesterday and we got up to about 30 mile an hour. But they should well be bedded in by the time I get to the bottom. Um, it's, it is a, a cracking little bike to ride. Well, the brakes seem to work all right. They slowed me down coming down that hill. Uh, yeah, they're mechanical brakes. They're not the best brakes on the planet and they're the standard pads. Um, I'll probably find I'll upgrade the pads, but in all fairness, I got up to about 29, 30 mile an hour coming down there. It slowed me down enough. And there was some traffic coming up the road as well. A couple of Land Rovers come up. You might not have seen them on video, but they definitely came up the road. Um, so yeah, the brakes work all right. Next stop, I think, head down to the canal and ride along the canal, which is a bit of undulation, a bit of bump, and uh, a bit of grass and mud. So uh, let's see how that fares. So whilst riding on the road, uh, one thing to bear in mind that you've got a speed limiter. Uh, the speed limiter will take you up to 15.5 miles an hour. I think it's 25 kilometers an hour. Uh, so anything over that you need to pedal. <laughs> it's uh, UK law. The other good thing with the bike is as well the brakes are on the correct side So your right hand brake is your front brake and your left hand brake is your back brake So it should be um, easy to set up and when you actually assemble the bike Which is a very very easy thing to assemble it comes with all the tools and a manual and you literally just follow the manual and uh, Attach the handlebars the seat and the pedals and that's it. It's done. It's very very simple to put together it took us about 10 minutes It's nicely packaged it comes in a really big tough box with lots of foam padding in it as well So it comes very well packaged so you haven't got to worry about it getting damaged in transit weight wise the bike weighs around 25 26 kilograms, I think it's not the lightest of bikes, but then no e-bike is uh, unless you're gonna pay high-end prices of high-end money all the e-bikes are around the same sort of weight about 25 kilos but the battery's there to help you and assist you and i've been riding it today with a big heavy backpack on as well so it's not a problem So we've made it up onto the canal, um, as you can see by this lock. We're near the lock at the moment, which is really cool. This is an absolute stunner of a canal. Yeah, so let's let's have a think what I haven't talked about. The pedals, we've got some lovely big flat pedals, which is really good. You get a really good um, footprint on the pedals when you're, when you're riding. The tyres, you've got some nice little nobbles on it, so they're great for riding along like these towpaths in the canal. The seat, I just want to mention the seat again. On the back of the seat, you've got this grab rail, which is absolutely brilliant for picking the back of the bike up. Uh, it's a really good little handle on the back of this seat, and I really do like it, because when I grab my one, it actually feels like the seat's buckling. So yeah, I like that idea. There's not much else left. The suspension, you've got the 100 mil of travel. It works, it definitely bounces up and down a little bit. It takes a little bit of the um, impact out of the rocks, the bumps and the uh, steps or anything you hit. It's a fantastic little bike to ride. It really is a nice bike. Um, I like the look of it as well. I know it's got an external battery rather than the other SQ bikes, but for the money, I wouldn't complain at all. We've also got a built-in light as well. Uh, the light, I think, is on the bottom button. There you go. Uh, the light is really bright quite powerful as well. We should have the light on all the time when we're riding on the uh, British roads or any roads so cars can see us coming forwards. Uh, so yeah, the light's gonna stay on now. But yeah, what a cracking little bike this is. The Escute M100. She's been an absolute treat to ride. She's going to be a treat to ride. I'm really looking forward to putting lots of miles on this bike. Yeah, job done. If you like this bike, you can get this for 600 pound at the moment if you're quick. If not, use the code Compton50 on any of the other Escute models or bike and you should get a £50 discount. But for now, don't forget to like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up and hopefully, if you've had one of these, uh, let me know your long-term thoughts. I'm going to ride it, definitely see what it's worth doing long-term. So yeah, thanks again, bye-bye. Get a really good review then. I think it is, yeah, I don't see why so not. So, can you just tell me how much that is? At the moment, 
Yeah, six hundred pounds. Right. Really? That's not bad for a no, that's, that's yeah. what I mean. Really good. No, I've seen them for it will a retail, I think it yeah, retails at eight nine nine. Yeah, yeah. But at the moment they're doing a starter price on it, £600, yeah, yeah. which is, I think is brilliant. But even yeah. if they rode up to the castle yeah. and going up that hill, put it on level five, it pulls it all the way to the top. Futures, yeah? You'll have to get one. Have you ever ridden with an electric bike? <laughs> I haven't, no, but... Um, Do you want to have a go? No, I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> just, just ride it down there. Yeah, no, in the canal. I'm, so, I'm not great at riding a bike.